so the overarching project that we did this um, this fall 2011 was um, devoted to like resourcefulness and using unusual materials that you wouldn't normally um, deal with in a normal arts program like we we use cups and straws and toothpicks like as many weird things as I could find for them to to sort of like brainstorm like how do we make this look like art or what is your idea of art you know like, there's some people who are intimidated by art because you know they might not be the best painter or they might not be able to draw well and then I used to be one of those people slash I still am so this is why I turn to like those sort of things and try to get them to see okay this this cup I mean we usually just drink out of it but like if you if you do like some brainstorming it could turn into something pretty awesome well we really wanted to work um, in a group environment we felt like that was a very important aspect especially because here um, at the Saturday learning series you know, people are coming from such different backgrounds and from different schools and from different languages. So we really wanted to make sure it's an interactive experience. So Tiffany brought in these uh, panels and we have a number of them and each one sort of had a different theme. And that was kind of a twofold. It was to introduce different concepts, but also so each student could kind of try and find a comfort, a comfort level um, doing a different project. And the really great thing that we saw happen was um, communication that happened through the art that didn't necessarily need words or it didn't have a language barrier because they were able to use these different types of mediums to really engage engage with each other and then after that we would see the language and the conversation start to slowly build so it was a great um, concept that Tiffany had to bring objects in that the students could interact with together and it was whatever I threw at them they could handle and I, I was so surprised that they could could make things like this and like most of the time I'm like are they gonna be able to do this because like I don't even know if I could do this you know like these are like challenges I are these are weird like problem solving skills that I'm learning in school which you know like if if they they can do this at th their age I'm like totally um, make, like totally going to be blown away what they would do in the future you know like kids like Poe who are are um, working on their own like when we did a collage he's like I've never seen that before and then like the next week he's like oh I did a collage at home like what <laughs> you know and then like him you know stepping you know stepping up and, and doing like the extra mile to like like want want more projects to do you know um like i gave him a book to like to to explore the world with and 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 look at it differently and um he's trying in the middle of making a documentary about his journey here which is and there's something just very humbling about being here because these young people um have been through such incredible journeys and such diverse journeys that are things that I have trouble even comprehending. So sometimes it's hard for me to think about really talking to them about shades, you know, in the larger scheme of this journey that they're on. And then I realize that it's those small moments, I think, that are the kind of like real victories and that that small moment where they are at ease and maybe the things that are built up in their mind sort of drift away for a little bit or they're communicating with someone that just a few minutes ago they were a little t intimidated to talk to someone um, because they're embarrassed about their English or about not knowing the right word. So I think it's been, a, a, the challenge for me has been to understand that the small things are oftentimes like the big, the big victories mm -hmm. in this type of environment.